thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel in this short message i want to remind you of something i said before i'm repeating it briefly because i want you to get this this may be life-saving to you i want to talk about the hoovering narcissist no it's not a movie to hoover is british english to suck up something when you have a vacuum cleaner it sucks up the air and in the way that it sucks up all the dirt on the floor so to hoover means to suck something up the hoovering narcissist is not a human being the, the hoovering narcissist is a demonic entity it's a familiar spirit that hangs around you and wants to keep access to you but this entity knows he can't just stay around you this entity needs the help of others so this entity does the following this entity uh, registers your weaknesses and uh, your traumas and what you've been through what you like and dislikes, your sexual preferences all of that this entity does all of that this entity doesn't need the internet or social media because it's a, it's a spirit being so it can just access information directly so for those that are so concerned about their privacy what others may know of them ugly spirits know far more of you than you think okay but okay I'm, i'll continue the hoovering narcissist gets all this data and together with two or three other just like him because they're all his he will come up with plans to draw people to you that are similar to what you've went through why because the body will feel acclimatized to those other people because they feel similar and that's how the hoovering narcissist traps you in a cycle of negativity so that the hoovering narcissist can feed off of you because that's the whole purpose the hoovering narcissist needs to, to feed off your energy field okay let me give an illustration let's say you have a girl named Jessica okay she, her mother passed away her father well he's not in a very good condition so she grew up in a fa foster family she has this stronghold of rejection okay and during her teenage years she went from boyfriend to boyfriend not because she wanted to be a hoe or anything like that because she was looking for this security now she has this hoovering narcissist around her this demonic entity now what's going to happen this entity knows almost all about this jessica so what is this entity going to do the entity is going to wait for a couple of years jessica graduates college she finds a job and now jess is urged to find a partner oh and there the hoover narcissist appears and how does he appear this is a guy that appears in her life and she falls for him he falls for her it's like one big romantic fairy tale they get engaged quickly everyone's happy for them but in the second year of their marriage all hell breaks loose what has happened she has been hoovered by a demonic entity she has a hovering narcissist feeding off of her and here's the thing if jessica would have learned to look at the bigger picture she would realize on a minute this is too familiar this is too weird she sensed a weird feeling but because she didn't have the sermon she thought that that weird feeling was her falling deeply in love no it wasn't she was misinformed by her culture and that's why she was blind to, to the traps of this hovering narcissist this is just one example okay you have uh, guys out there also women they get involved with opposite sex quickly they don't have to do anything literally it just happens but look at this it's not a blessing because the type of people they get involved with are people that train them exploit them abuse them beat them hate them bite them do all kinds of weird things to them seriously and they're left with all kinds of mental and financial garbage and they may think why is my life going like this you have a hoovering narcissist okay first of all you ought to be born again in order to be delivered so become born again agree with christ so be renewed in your mind because then you will be able to discern when the hoovering narcissist wants to hoover around you it's hoovering it wants to draw away from you to drain you to kill you that's what the hoovering narcissist does and the hoovering narcissist will always look for a human counterpart who operates in a similar manner to work through
and she has many of those human counterparts walking around. But I'm not going to talk about those human counterparts, I'm talking about those paranormal parasites. Do not fall for the hoovering narcissist. How do you prevent falling for it? I would say prevent, how do you anticipate it? By looking at the bigger picture. Anyone you meet, don't scan them with your unexamined expectations, with your unexamined criteria. Look at them at the price centered manner. Okay, if he is he or she born again? No? Okay, then I may expect some errors here and there. Okay, then you look, okay, what type of individual are they? What type of people are, are around them? Just look at the bigger picture. Don't just encounter people and because things are going well, think, okay, this is it. That's what a lot of people do. They judge based on their unexamined expectations. And those unexamined expectations is what blinds you and binds you to the paranormal. So, that's why I'm reminding you, be renewed to your mind and do not fall for the hoovering narcissist. Look at the bigger picture. Be at peace.